is John setting out for the net fishing scuba. It's the de salmon fishery net called the Yeb net. As you can see, it has to go down the river by dinghy. The net itself is about half a mile down the river from the heart. You require the dinghy to get on the net, but you also require it to get you off when the tide reaches the platform. Not a very good day for salmon fishing, as it's a small tide due to the water coming down from Tunnel. But I hope John catches a salmon, as you can see he could do with a new pair of jeans. There's no wind today, so really, there's not really much going from here. As you can see by the water flowing through the net, it is a very slow tide. You really require a faster tide, also a little bit of wind, which can make all the difference. But as at the moment they're generating fresh water down the river from Tonglin, it's causing the, the tide to be very slow running past the net. The rings up the side of the net is the rings that regulate the depth that you fish. From the pole at the bottom to the top ring, which you see just breaking the top of the water, is roughly six feet. So you're fishing six feet. Now here is some of the problems you do encounter when you're fishing. As you can see at the back, one of the many trawlers that use Kirkubri Harbour is just coming in. If they go slow, which this one is, it doesn't cause any problem really. But at night time when you're sitting up there it can be quite scary. This is another trawler coming in, which is going a little bit faster, but I'm sure by the time he comes to the net, or opposite, he will be going quite a bit slower. The wash from the, these trawlers can be also very dangerous, especially when the water's just about up at your platform. Slowing down for the enemy, John.
The view of Kirkcugri from the, the net is really quite spectacular. You're really seeing old Kirkcugri, as I say, from the harbour to the fish house and then along the back the castle in the background. And it goes along past the houses there, Hornell's house, the artist, and right along as far as the Tollbooth, which, and that's the courthouse, and past the marina for the yachting club, and Kirkcubri Academy in the background there. But it is quite, right, uh, quite nice to sit out in the night. Also helps if you catch a fish, of course. As you can see by John, there's just nothing to it. The boat approaching the net just now is the Sea Anglers a boat. That is higher out from Kirkcubri Harbour. And they go out to sea angling further out in the estuary, which goes out most days during the summer months. The motor launch that you see approaching is the Minish Defence Range Patrol Boat. That goes out every day that they're firing at the tank range, just to warm off, warm off other boats in the area that they're firing in progress. And as you can see, it's quite a luxury type of boat. Also going very slow as it passes the net. now is just about up to the platform, another quarter of an hour and John will have to start and think about coming off. He still had no any, hasn't had any fish today. You can see now why we require the dinghy to get off as the net now is completely surrounded by water and John is just starting to pack up. The stool, the net and everything else is just left on the platform which of course is tied down as the tide will cover it. It just brings the pole up for the last time, lays it down across the seat so the pole actually holds the seat until you come down the next time. Checking to see if there's a fish but no chance. But in the season, you get many days like this. Since John went on the net until he's coming off, he's been on approximately two to three hours, depending on the rate of tide. John today's been on about, just about the three hours. Now that's him rowing back to the fish house without any fish once again.